See you next week, Jen. Daniel, I'm ready to see you now. Well, welcome back. I hope you're feeling better. Well, I trust you know why you're here, so um, let's just get started talking about how you feel. Daniel. This is part of the deal. In order to let you back into school, you have to meet with me every week. Ah, there we go. A bit of life. So, how's your first day back? Everyone knows. Knows what? What happened. What I did. How does that make you feel? Angry. Embarrassed. Angry at who? Myself, my mother, she just had to call everybody. She loves to gossip even if it's about her own son. Is that why you tried to kill yourself? That's not what happened. So what did happen then, Daniel? <laughs> I just wanted to experience what it was like to have a gun in my mouth. To see what it looked like from my point of view. To feel it against my teeth. I wanted to experience what it was like to be in control. To have a life in my hands. Daniel! That life happened to be your own. You should never put your life in jeopardy. Well then maybe you're the one afraid of your own life. Maybe you're the one afraid of new experiences. When I felt that gun cock that dart into place, my heart started to race. And it was like the only two things in the world were the chair I was sitting in and the gun in my mouth. That's an interesting idea, but that's just your brain. You're using a defense mechanism called reaction formation. It's when- If I was really trying to kill myself, I wouldn't be using a friggin' Nerf gun. Daniel, you don't understand. This is serious. No! You don't understand. Daniel? What are you doing? Daniel? <laughs>